Does your approach prevent Tiffany Scott's transfer to a women's prison? There will be no transfers, including uh, that one, uh, to a women's prison of any prisoner, any transgender prisoner uh, that has a history of violence, including sexual violence against uh, women. Last week, the Justice Secretary told Parliament he trusted the Scottish Prison Service to make these decisions case by case based on risk assessments. Do you trust the Scottish Prison Service to correctly manage transgender prisoners? Yes, I, I do. But why would you have to intervene to override the prison service's decision making if you did have full trust and confidence? This is not about overriding, it's about bringing clarity. Now there has been... Well, but you're telling them that they can't make transfers of this sort. The, the point I was making is that there is nothing to assume that the robust risk assessment process and the cases that have been reported in recent days wouldn't have led to the right outcome. Do your government have any role in the original decision to send Isla Bryson to Conton Vale as opposed to Barlini? Uh, no, not uh, to the, the best of, of my knowledge. These wouldn't be decisions that ministers were involved in. Should this temporary ban be made permanent? Would you support that? Uh, well, let's allow the review to take its course, but I think what we set out in a temporary basis, I think, is likely to give an indication of the direction of travel here. In the point what possible circumstances would it be acceptable for a transgender prisoner who had been violent towards women to be held in a women's prison. I can't immediately think of what those circumstances would be. And Glenn, how damaging do you think the handling of this affair has been for the government? 